in Alaska. So whenever you kill a salmon <laughs> and chop its head off, you have to say back to where you belong. In the beginning, the Lord made the earth, the heavens, the hills, and the sea. The sun and the stars, the land, the fruit, the trees. He made all creatures that live in the earth and taught them to live. The Lord sanctified the seventh day for man. Mold man in the image of his maker. Man shall have dominion over all. But because More than human, sometimes we stumble, sometimes we fall. In the beginning, the world was so bright, perfection was He's just decided that he's, oh, he's going well, to treat us. Uh, <laughs> welcome to right. Educated Bowlers, Marshall's only adult programming. <laughs> Share the magic. <laughs> yeah. Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah, the Indians, man. We the Indians. Freaking. Right. We're saying freaking because it's Thanksgiving. No cussing. I just want to say that uh, I want to give thanks. Uh, I want to give thanks to all the, the miserable creatures who have ever existed. Because without you, there would be no me. <laughs> so, thank you. No, that doesn't make any sense. It's true. I mean, without the whole cycle of suffering up to this point, the whole so people struggle, before us, people. I say creatures even. that have ever existed. Yeah. So you're talking about current ones that exist. I'm talking about the whole fucking trajectory of organisms on this planet. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's one. Lupe, I, I, I would because hardly, of you that I would shot hold, out <laughs> my, uh, I would my hardly call, call Lupe an organism. <laughs> Give Lupe a shout out to my Indian one of the brother. Few people with <laughs> transcended organism. That's right. Orgasm, man. Eat no organism. No orgasm. You say organism, I say orgasm. Right? Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. I want to give a shout out to my Indian brethren. Yeah. Take care of the pilgrims. Fuck the Indians. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm so tired of these Indian complaints. That's right. They should have given them, like, poison turkey. Uh, <laughs> what's the matter? Your casino's not making enough money? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, gotta get out of yeah. bed in the morning. Oh, sorry <laughs> Have a beer. Yeah. Yeah. You got all that great res uh, scenery and you everything? You got fried bread. <laughs> I mean, Mexicans don't even got fried bread. <laughs> the whites had fried bread. <laughs> they wouldn't have starved during that time. They had fried bread that would have lasted all winter. <laughs> I'll tell you something about Indians. My wife is uh, half Indian. 
comes with half her mother's family's um, Piscataway Kanoi tribe, and uh, you know they got some asses on them. <laughs> Ow! Pow! Ow. Bang! Ow! Because <laughs> those of you who don't know, my wife, the other half of her family is black, and stereotypically they talk about. The, oh, thank you. They say that the black people have the, the pow asses. Pow. But, but look at look at pow times two. Yeah. <laughs> well, but but the fact it's is, I look I, at, I look at both sides of the family, and and I see that it's actually the Indians who got the thing going on. It's, it's a strange Indian blend, a strange Indian tribe there with the with the, the women. So with they, the women they have the pow ass and they have the pow tits too, or I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> some, some of them, yeah. Some it's the them. pow wow, pow wow, wow. wow. Yeah. Wait a pow wow wow. <laughs> Turkey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> seriously, though. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> all the, all, seriously, though, I want to give thanks to the father. father I want to give thanks, um, actually, to Bruce for, uh, you know, hosting us for all these years, and to Lenny for being Greek. I mean, what can you say about the Greeks? I mean, oh, it's a daughter. Off the cliff she goes. Off the cliff she goes. <laughs> You know, if only Eleni's family would have thought that way. Yeah. Only if. You now know. they've got to reap the, the damage. Well, you know, at least, I won't say it, but, you know. Yeah, I know. So, but back to Turkey Day. Yeah. If you're thinking of, um, you know, cooking a good turkey. Uh, it's too late. It's Thursday oh. evening, this is Sarah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you fucked. So you've got it. <laughs> So, <laughs> so talk about their mistake. <laughs> Don't uh, start well, the turkey at midnight on Thursday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you seen Christmas Vacation? Uh, who hasn't? All right. Well, that's a mistake. Is you. I don't haven't. thaw the turkey. You probably haven't thawed the turkey out enough, and then you cooked it, and it pow, it just blew up. Not like an ass, like an Indian's ass or an African American's ass, but it's a boom. pow, like boom pow. So how do people fuck up the turkey all the time? Do they? I've heard a lot. I mean, they, you see a lot of TV shows about it, <laughs> sitcoms. Well, you, you probably got a ring of truth there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of people fucking it? Because I've like never gotten food never, poisoning or anything. No, I've never no, met no. anybody that fucked up a turkey. No. <laughs> you know, sometimes you it's be better white. or worse. He's <laughs> probably going to have a secret to rich people. Sure, why not? Yeah. Rich people. Oh, he's old. He's old. <laughs> I don't think you know us. <laughs> you think we're rich people. It's Andre, all right. Andre. The Andre, the what you should know, <laughs> is uh, he not only knows how to dress a turkey, but he knows how to dress a dead body. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I didn't know if that was supposed That's to get out. stuffing? Confidential he information. He knows how to stuff a body. What do you body. mean, dress a dead body? Is he work for a oh, I, I can't. I can't, I can't say. I can't go into it. You you already, you've it. already said too much. Huh? <laughs> He's incognito. <laughs> Any Thanksgiving thoughts bartender. for the for the crowd, for the audience? For if, the I don't see, if I don't see you guys Thanksgiving, God bless you all, your families. Yeah. We pray to God to see many, many more. Oh, yeah. Keep the faith and keep it real. There right. you go. <laughs> what about yeah. my mom? Did you say anything about my mom? Tell her, happy Thanksgiving. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy Talking Christmas. about Lupe's mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mom happy Thanksgiving, mom. Happy Thanksgiving, mom. Tell her you love her. I love you, mom. <laughs> and, you you and you if your, your mom. mom's watching this, she's in trouble. Yeah. If you're watching this, mom. What the hell are you doing to Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> she's in a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Hold on, dad, again, huh? A little bit of wine. vodka, huh? A little oh, bit of vodka, you... and you wind up in Marshall. Yeah, you wind up. From Wisconsin, I ten hours later. To told Marshall. mom, you told dad you was going to get some washing powder at Walmart <laughs> two days ago, <laughs> and then escape to Marshall. And you end up with some some Somali in Marshall. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, mom. Some Mexican she could wind up too. She's already married to one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was only the racist half of me that said that. The other half of me really was repulsed. Yeah, you have half that's racist and half that hates that's right. racist. That's right. <laughs>
It's always fighting with each other, that Mexican hat. It wants, it wants to pull out a nice, sharp knife and stab the other half. You know? And steal its hubcaps. <laughs> I always come out in the morning, I got half hubcaps on one side. I don't know where that, you know, it's just... What is that? I don't know, it's like that doctor, I think you got that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde, the, uh, man. What's going on, you know? I'm just kidding, bros. Rock on at the... What do you think, High V or County Market? County Market. County Market? Wow. Why? Well, first of all, first of all, they meat. The so meat? Much, the meat is 101 better than high bees meat. Huh. Customer service is better. People are real more relaxed down there. Yeah, yeah they're probably more relaxed. <laughs> they got hotter looking women down there. Oh, man, much They caught at County Market? Yeah, yeah, I might go along with that. Of course, I only see the poor, poor slob who works at 4 in the morning. <laughs> you see that guy? He's like, he's got a, like a well, neck brace on. <laughs> Second head growing out of his neck, you know. Eeyore, Eeyore. bring the meat. He's always like, kill me <laughs> now, kill me now. Jesus. Jesus of the pizza world. Chucky Jesus. <laughs> Chucky Jesus. Chucky Jesus. <laughs> and his, uh, you know where Thanksgiving started? Uh, what? The Pilgrims? The what? The Pilgrims. Pilgrims. No. Uh, I don't know, ancient Rome? <laughs> no. South Central LA. Yeah. No. It was at the end of the Civil War. It, Lincoln instituted it as a day of Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. For, so, what a, well, it, was a, it was a Union holiday. Well, I wasn't back in the day. I, I, I <laughs> Uh, pilgrims would, would resent just, the fact that they've been associated with this. I was just mad as hell to ask me a question about something 20, 50, 100, 200 years ago. Later, I'm not going to wreck my brain. I wasn't there. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I, asked my, I, I asked some people today, what, you know, tell me about Thanksgiving, and they were telling me about how the pilgrims left England because of they wanted to come. To have Thanksgiving here. Because no, they no, wanted to be religious not freedom. dead. No, they wanted religious they freedom. They wanted to leave England because they didn't want to be dead. Religious freedom. They like they left voluntarily. Yeah, and, yeah. and it was a English comedian recently that was talking about that, talking about the the bullshit they played upon us, and we're getting back, getting even for them. He says, "Yeah." He goes, "The Pilgrims were, you know, how uptight the English are." Because imagine the pilgrims, they got buckles not only on their shoes, but on their hats. <laughs> English are going, man, we're uptight, but you guys are fucking bad. Get the fuck out, man. And they kicked their ass. I mean, who's going to get on a rickety-ass boat and float across the ocean where at this time they didn't even know if the world was round? <laughs> I mean, they heard. It's like, for some for example, now take like this out. Like they came to it by yeah, their I'm, free will, right. Now I might think I'm crazy now. No disrespect to white people now. <laughs> I mean it from my heart. Yeah, go ahead. When the Titanic sank, if that had been some Mexicans and black people in that boat, we would have died all at that one time. <laughs> we would have found some of us float. <laughs> and number two, a lot of us wouldn't have been on that boat. <laughs> and all that water. We yeah. can't drink that much water at one time. <laughs> Yeah. How many, how many was 3,500, something like that, died at that, that, that one, that one time? Yeah, and most of them were the Irish, they locked, the, they, they, would, they wouldn't let out of the basement. Oh, yeah. no, what the hell? See? <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to a swim pool too deep. <laughs> <laughs> So Andre, when you when you think of women's asses, <laughs> what who do you think has the best asses? What kind of women? Right now it's a toss up, like they all getting them shots. Most of them getting them shots now, so you can't really like, <laughs> like ass injections. Most? <laughs> I'm like, man, booty booty boppers. Baby, <laughs> baby, you got back, baby. <laughs> then you got bad body bitches too now. Bad body. Bad body bitches. Meaning. <laughs> Bad bodies. Bad like, bodies. Like pH fat or? No, pH, pH AT. Yeah. Not pretty hot attempted. Pretty hot, out of control. <laughs> you know I mean? 
Ooh, man, bad body. Ooh. <laughs> chill. 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 That's, that's what you do when you yeah. wake up in the morning. You know, holy shit. <laughs> Not Marsha. There are all beautiful women in Marsha.